This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Hi everyone, welcome to the second and the final part of the accordion sketchbook adventure. So today I'm gonna finish the painting, drawing, illustration that I started in my previous videos. And if you haven't watched the previous part, I recommend you to do so. So yeah, I made this really long drawing in this sketchbook featuring the little cat explorer in different parts of his adventure, like a little story almost. But now it's finally time to color this, which I'm very excited about. I mean, doing the coloring is the most fun part in my opinion, so I'm very excited about that, but also a little nervous because this is a pretty big painting and I spent a lot of time on it, so I don't really want to mess this up. I'm sure it will be just fine. <laughs> anyway, let's get started. But first, I just want to do a very quick, shameless self-promotion. If you love cute, floral, or witchy things, my shop is filled with them. Adorable handmade cat pins and magnets, stickers, prints, and stationery supplies, bookmarks. I would be super happy if you could check it out. Link is in the description box below. Thank you! So the paper in this sketchbook is very thick and it has a bit of a tooth to it. It isn't very textured, but there is a graininess almost. So I thought that watercolors would be the perfect medium to use. I don't remember if this is watercolor paper specifically, and I didn't test it before I started, but thankfully it worked really well with the watercolors. I thought watercolors would be the most efficient medium to use since it covers a lot of area pretty quickly. And and this is a big painting and I have very limited time to work on this. I didn't think it would take that long, but the time I spent painting this, it ended up on more than eight and a half hours, which I think was worth it in the end. And I'm so glad I decided to split up the video in two parts so I could really take my time with this. So just as before when doing the line work, I'm working on one part at a time, which I guess is the most logical way to do this since it is too long to just display the whole thing at once. And here in the first part we can see our little kitty explorer starting his journey. I used the same color scheme for him as in the art that I made with all the scroller boxes a few weeks ago, with the yellow and orange spots and the blue tunic. I want to use a lot of bright colors to make this a very fun and colorful piece to look at. I did a very, very brief little storytelling about this kitty and his adventure in the previous part, if you haven't seen it yet. Basically, he's out on a journey to find Cat Mountain, and on the way he gets to see all these different places. Like here, in the field of giant mushrooms, he only found this place because he had held the map upside down and now he is a little confused and he's trying to figure out where he's supposed to go next. And why are the mushrooms so big by the way? Even the snail sitting on top of the mushroom is huge compared to the little kitty. So something mysterious must have happened here. Perhaps a magical growing potion was spilled by a powerful witch ages ago. And and it is still affecting this area even till this day, making parts of the nature growing bigger than usual, like magical pollution, kind of. I decided to paint the sky in this section in one swoop to make it more even and coherent. And you may have noticed that my coloring style when it comes to watercolors isn't very smooth. I love it when the colors blend in with each other and they mix us and create their own gradients. I just like the organic look. When it is consciously made though, I don't love it when the colors bleed into each other by accident. The sky though, I want it to be fairly smooth, so I tried to paint it as fast as I can to avoid any visible seams. 
Before we move on with our journey, I like to talk about another kind of adventure, making a website, but thanks to today's sponsor Squarespace, making a beautiful portfolio, online store or website isn't hard at all. You can just choose between all the flexible website templates, pick a favorite and edit it to fit your specific needs, explore the curated color palettes and font packs to see which one best suits your or your business's unique style. Style, the Fluid Engine and drag and drop technology, both for desktop and mobile, gives you total control on your website design. All the images hosted on Squarespace can be edited directly within your browser using the built-in image editor, crop, resize, rotate, adjust contrast and brightness and much more. Squarespace allows you to be creative while they will do all the hard work for you. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you are ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash catvalk to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thanks so so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Here we see the opening to the cave, with ancient writing over the entrance and a mysterious glow coming from far inside. You can't really see the glow just yet though, I haven't painted it, but it will be there, I promise. But it makes our kitty explorer very curious and it just has to find out what's inside. So I asked you guys in the previous part what I should name this little kitty, because I keep calling him Cat Explorer or Explorer Kitty and he needs a name. And I got so many great suggestions from you guys, I love them all. But the one that I ended up going with came from Cat Captain Meowington that suggested Kit, and to be honest, it didn't really stuck with me at first, but then I got thinking, if I name him Kit, then he would be Kit the Explorer, which sounds just like Kitty Explorer, and I thought it was just too perfect to not use, so from now on, his name is Kit the Explorer. So Kit has now reached the center of the cave, a big mountain hall filled with glowing crystals, which has him mesmerized. And I had so much fun working on this scene, trying to make it look like the crystals are actually glowing, and having the light coming from the lantern reflecting off the stone walls. It was a bit tricky though, and I could really feel my limitations when it comes to my watercoloring skills. I am in no means a professional, I am all self-taught and I understand that there are certain tricks to making certain effects, like painting light for example, and I could perhaps have pushed the shadows and the highlights a little bit more to make more contrast, but I still think it was a good practice and I learned a lot. So did Kit bring a crystal with him when he left the cave? Maybe. What this crystal will do he does not know yet, but he will find out further into his journey. Maybe when he finally reaches Cat Mountain, he will learn its true powers, but for now it is resting safely in his belt satchel. This next scene was definitely the most time consuming, it is also the biggest scene so I guess that makes sense, but we have Kit here, resting after a long day of exploring giant mushrooms and crystal caves, he's sitting by the campfire roasting some fish that he caught in the lake, and this scene takes place mostly during the night, but when we get closer to the cat mountains in the background, we can see how the night sky is turning pink from the sunset. And in the first part of the painting, the sky goes from pink to blue to slightly orangey color. I wanted to illustrate the start of the journey in the morning, going to midday when exploring the mushrooms, and then to afternoon before entering the cave. And while Kit is in the cave, it turns into night. So we get this whole day of adventures. Also, now when it is colored, let me know which part is your favorite and if it has changed from when you only saw the line art. The colors really makes a big difference to the whole vibe of an illustration. 
So yeah, this scene takes place during the evening or night and it is a little darker than during the day, obviously. So to illustrate the lack of light, I added blue and purple into each color that I used just to give it this darker, cooler tone. And I tried to not make it too dark though because I still wanted it to be colorful. But I think adding this cool tone really made it look like it is night. The fire and the lantern though helped breaking up all the cooler tones, adding a little bit of light and warmth to the scene as well. And I had so much fun working on this piece, it really was an adventure for me too. Coming up with this story and putting it on the paper, I mean just transferring the sketch from the iPad to the sketchbook was a journey itself. This whole project took me so much longer than I anticipated, I think I reached 14 something hours in total including the sketch and the line art which is a lot for being me but it was totally worth it I am so pleased and proud with how this piece turned out I'm pretty sure that there will be questions about turning this into a print and I've been thinking about it but I don't know if I can even make this long of a print. It feels like it would be very inconvenient to handle and hard to ship out. What I might do though is to turn this into a set of prints, one print for each of the scenes maybe. I think that might be doable and I do think Bailey J had a longer piece of art that she printed multiple times on a vinyl banner that she then cut manually into smaller pieces so that might be an option, we will see. I finished everything by adding some extra details with color pencils and paint markers and yeah, it is finally done. After keeping it folded for the most part when working on it, it is so much fun seeing the whole painting all at once in its full length. I just need to figure out a good way to display it. It would be a shame to just hide it away after all that work. Again, one of my favorite projects in a while. I'm so happy and proud with how it turned out. Let me know what you think. So yeah, thanks Squarespace for sponsoring this video and thank you guys for watching and for joining me and Kit on this journey. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. That is all for now. I will see you next time. Keep drawing my happy cats. Bye!